அகத்தின் அழகு முகத்தில் தெரியும் ஃபேஸ் இஸ் த இண்டெக்ஸ் ஆஃப் த மைண்ட் டுடே வி கோயிங் டு டீல் அபவுட் அ டாபிக் ஹவு தி ஹியூமன் ஃபேஸ் ஆக்ஸ் அஸ் அ மிரர் அண்ட் ரிஃப்ளெக்ட்ஸ் வாட் இஸ் இன்சைட் ஒன்ஸ் பாடி Our skin being the largest and the most visible organ in our body acts like a mirror. Whenever there is something wrong with our body, it reflects on our skin. A basic concept which utilizes the interconnected functions of the body's organ to properly balance our state of health. According to the traditional Chinese medicine, the face is a map which decodes the mind, body and the soul's silent language. We all experience this in some way or another. Non-verbal exchanges to others passing by, tired eyes exhibiting a sleepless night, and the basic idea of body language. The Chudosha theory in Ayurveda originated from the theory of three elements in the universe. The names of these three doshas are Vata, Pitta and Kapha. According to the traditional healing wisdom in India as well as China, the body is connected through energetic channels known as meridians or nadis in Ayurveda. which energy or prana flows to and from in organ systems in the body the physical body exists due to an energetic force that animates the body ensuring movement breath brain activity emotions and more according to the research done in seoul university the meridians do exist the scientists there refer to them as the primo vascular system It has important roles in the cardiovascular system and distinctly manages our entire calibrating that is the balancing system including our endocrine functions and metabolic system. Since these phenomena extend into the concepts of balance or homeostasis, the functioning of meridian channels and the entire metabolic system, the message is that we can no longer ignore the interconnected nature of our body. In acupuncture a practitioner uses meridian lines and points to stimulate qi flow similarly in face mapping each part of the face has a distinct qi point or relationship to the internal organs with all this being said let us take a look at how we can utilize this profound wisdom in everyday life to bring about balance and healing while improving our physical beauty first let us deal with the forehead the intestines are majorly influenced by our nervous system Deep horizontal lines across the forehead can indicate an overactive nervous system and a poor intestinal health, mostly due to stress or even poor food choices. Meditation, relaxation and sleep can help a lot. Also, by chewing more thoroughly, eating only when relaxed and taking probiotics could help a lot. Temples, grooves, lines, growth of progressive acne in this area indicates issues with the kidney. This can be due to chronic fear and stress response. Also, the sugar, medications, chronic infections, inflammation, any excessive behavior weakens these glands. This can be improved by decreasing the stress and consuming healthy amounts of fluid. Between the eyebrows, the liver rules detoxification, digestion and emotions. If the body is overburdened with toxins, hard to digest processed food and negative emotion, it shows up in this area. Also, each organ system has a corresponding emotion. For the liver, it is anger. Perhaps this is why chronically angry and frustrated people are more likely to have a deep down groove in their forehead between the eyes. Therefore, when decreasing your toxic intake, be sure to swap any toxic skincare products for organic and natural ones. It can be also improved by decreasing your overall toxic load mentally as well as your diet is concerned. Eyebrows or the under eye. The kidney system manages all fluid within the body responsible for our stress response. When the body is dehydrated from poor habits or high stress, it adversely affects the kidney and shows in the form of under eye bags, dark circles, puffiness or inflammation around the eyebrow ridge. Drink enough quality water, sip it throughout the day and do not chug water as it dilutes the kidney. Also, stay away from sugar and excess caffeine. along with refined salt as these weakens the kidney eat mineral rich food get good sleep and ha- handle your emotional stress response the nose left side of your nose corresponds to the left side of your heart and vice versa blockheads means heart condition redness indicates blood sugar or blood pressure issues from excess alcohol sugar and processed foods 
improve your cholesterol levels by lowering sugar and refined carb intake and eat healthier cholesterol. Mouth and the Chin The most common issue that occurs in the stomach is dampness. Ulcers in the mouth, for example, may indicate some toxic heat in the stomach or the stomach ulcers. Dampness is caused by prolonged periods of excess heat, interestingly enough caused by excess raw or whole foods. Because the stomach has to heat up our food to match our internal body temperature, when we eat strictly raw or cold foods, the stomach has to drive up HCL production to warm it up, eventually burning out the stomach, leading to dampness. Once an issue of dampness arises, there is often mucus in the colon, yeast and fungal infections and general poor digestive health. So it is better to eat mostly warm cooked foods which promote he healthy head seal productions and manage dryness and dampness. Cheek Issues of excess heat show up primarily on this area. When the cheeks are red, it is an indication that the stomach is experiencing an inflammation. Mostly they can be remedied by mastering the emotions and surprisingly by drinking enough fluid. The secret to true beauty comes from within, emotionally, mentally and physically. There is truly no beauty treatment that compares to good health, a good heart and a clear mind. If you desire real beauty, then ultimately the goal is total wellness.